the wig moment was my favorite. The wig moment is hands down one of the best moments of my life. Anthony uh, had to wear a wig because he had cut his hair and he had this wonderfully hilarious wig. That it was Renee's him. wig. From no, I, knew, I mean, I wasn't trying to do him dirty like that, Ant, but yes, it was Renee's, it was Renee's wig. No, they <laughs> cut Renee's wig from off Broadway and just fluffed it up. And they were like, yo, put that on your head until you leave. And no show. one knew, I didn't see it until I got on stage. And then I was like, what's happening? And we just laughed hysterically and had so much fun. Our stage manager came out of the shadows and I'm talking like, she's like, get it together. I had appendicitis. It was two weeks after we opened on Broadway. I recorded the cast album immediately after my surgery. So I had to sit on a stool while we recorded the cast album because I was still in pain. I was out of the show for two weeks. Doctors like, you should be out of the show for a month. I was like, but the way my bank account is set up, I'm gonna need to be out for two weeks. Amber Lee Weiner, what is your biggest pet peeve? My biggest pet peeve is people who complain a lot. Uh, I went to the store, but they didn't have the milk I wanted. So I had to settle. They didn't have almonds, so I had to buy cashew milk. And it's just, the aftertaste of the cashew milk is just, it just really like, it makes me nauseous. And every time I get nauseous, I then feel like my pores start opening up. And then just drink the cashew milk. If you ain't allergic to nuts, you gonna live. License. Got my driver's license, trying to catch me riding dirty. I took this test and the instructor, she was like quiet the whole time, you know what I'm saying? I know they gotta have the stealth face. You know, she goes, your driving's fine, just remember to check your blind spots. And I was like, so does that mean I pass? Your license will come in the mail. I was like, let's go, you just changed my life. You don't even know what you just did for me. I said, yo, I'm 29 and I just got my license. She said, it's okay, I got people with like 60. I don't know what kind of car I'm gonna get though, but I'm gonna get a safe car. You know, I'm not even gonna lie to you and be like, yo, I'm gonna go out and get a Porsche. Nah, G, I'm about to go get some safe that if a truck get even this much close to me, that starts swerving on its own type You know, I ain't. All right, so for all the kids out there, I'm sorry. I gotta keep it real on this YouTube channel. I was acting like that shit was a stripper pole. Sliding down and I was like, yo, I was doing some inappropriate dance there. It'd be like that. I was probably delirious. That was probably like the 500th show when I started to look cross-eyed. You know, and I was like, whoa, <laughs> I've been doing this show so many times, I mean. <laughs> yo. Paige Reese. How did you introduce yourself to Jasmine? Hmm. That's a good question. I saw her and I was like, yo. Whoa. But that's not how I introduced myself, so I didn't answer your question. The way I introduced myself to her was we so happened to be sat next to each other in rehearsal. And then uh, I proposed the next day, so. When you know, you know. The bad is that, you know, I died once a day. I died yeah. 16 times a week. Wow. Mariah, Dot Chantel, do you tap dance? I do tap dance. Funny enough, in college, they put me in level three tap out of five. I had never tapped a day in my life. Sometimes you just gotta distract them with the upper body and the smile. More and more teachers. Jason Jacobs, who was my counselor in high school, who just texted me, he's like, Brian, we, let's go, let's go on a trip for Christmas. We out. <laughs> you know, he trying to get lit. We adults now, so it's like getting lit with my counselor is kind of crazy, but it'd be like that, right? And we're bonding in a new way. Can you juggle? Absolutely not. When's the last time you sneezed? Probably yesterday, bro. It's mad pollen outside. I kind of walked around mad all the time because George Washington was kind of mad all the time. <laughs> because Chris was in angry mode all the time. Here's Chris and Anthony Ramos <laughs> just going at it. Just like backstage, like going at it. Just like screaming matches. If I never hear Anthony Ramos, I know he's thinking it. Chris, would you just stop talking? <laughs> I'm over here talking to David. I don't, I didn't ask you for your opinion, man. I didn't man. ask you for your opinion. I didn't ask you. <laughs> it's just, it's just around and around and around. Let me tell you right now. I did this movie because Liam Neeson was in it. That was it. Like, I was like, yo, I need to be in this film. I need to work with Liam Neeson. I need to get my ass beat by Liam Neeson. I want to get punched in the face by Liam. And it happened. 
he uh, choked me with the bat. He got into a whole thing in the garage. I was like, yo, this is crazy. And he was like, are you okay? I was like, yo, my man, I'm great. We learned helpless. And then they said, oh, can you do what you just did in that last song, but backwards in this next one? And we were like, excuse me? That number again now, like I want us all to go together right now. No prep, no rehearsal, no refreshing. You're gonna be by yourself on that one, brother. <laughs> That's a solo. That's a solo it? for you, Oak. I'll be like this for my popcorn. Yo, this is hilarious. Yo, the internet's undefeated, let me tell you, man. I don't even know why you asked because this, this picture is, is how I did it. I just embodied the baby. I embodied the 12 year old. I embodied the nine year old. I like did a thing with my voice, like if that was gonna help. It's like, it's, that's a grown ass man on the stage playing nine years old. Like, oh, that's it. We were like, hey, you know, I mean, I was 22, 20 at the time, so I ain't have no family. I mean, I was like, please get me my $400 a week and my shot. <laughs> you Somebody. Had, you had nothing. How does that Hamilton cast have time to snap, slash tweet, slash make videos during the show? Hashtag superpowers. All caps. All caps. All caps. I don't mean to spoil the Broadway experience, but <laughs> if, you ever, if you ever wonder what people are doing backstage, they are texting their friends back. They are making business calls between scenes. Figuring uh, out what they're going to get for dinner. If the show's about to end and they know that the order is going to take about 36 to 45 minutes to get to their home and they will be home in 30. They know <laughs> that at this particular song, I'm going to make my dinner order. Uh, some people are even doing it on stage. You're some like, people. <laughs> I know some people. One of my boys was like, yo, you gave him the portobello. I was like, word. I'm never going to not say that. I idea that it was going to blow up the way it did. I mean, I'm talking millions of views. Like, people be... Stop me on the street. Yo, 21 Chubb Street. What the heck I gotta do? To be? I was like, yeah, that's, that's me. That's me. I'm the guy in the thing. I actually got cut. I'm called Inuti. Yeah, I'm sad. But... Nay, and it's you two. What? For <laughs> real? Come on. How entertaining would that be? I keep all your secrets, yo. I hide all the bodies. <laughs> I shouldn't say that. This is a Disney press junket. I said, I should hide all the bodies. <laughs> I will not hide all the bodies. I'll co-sign on that. I'll co-sign on that. <laughs> but Pips, I'm hey. with you till I die, homie. That's right. <laughs> Agreed on Oak, Anthony, and Renee. Anthony's incapable of being quiet, so I, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, yeah, I don't think I would choose Anthony at all. He's, <laughs> he's incapable of being subtle. <laughs> Yo, Disney, let's make that movie. Hold up. Is it my shot? It's no. no my shot. Bad. Well, it felt long when we was doing it. Maybe if not a day later, school's calling me for a loan. I'm like, hey, can you give me one more day? I didn't know what I was going to do with a day. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, what, what was I gonna do? Like, ten grand or what something? What was I gonna do in a day, bro? <laughs> Rob a bank or two. Yo, I was thinking about it. I was plotting. I had my ski mask ready. I was like, yo, you know what? We gotta get it popping. I gotta call the goons. You know, we make this shit happen. Sometimes you gotta <laughs> ruffle the feathers a little bit to make the dreams happen. But I was like, hold up, wait. Name rhymes with hair. A, a name rhymes with hair? She's an oh. icon. But she. <laughs> yeah. Olivia, how you set me up like this? Share. Share? Share. It's Share. The, her name rhymes with air. Dang, I'm sorry, Share. Should go on her autobiography. My name rhymes with her. The good was that uh, I got my first good role in the big motion picture. It was crazy. Mm -hmm. But the bad was they were like, yes, yeah, so you're going to have to cut your hair. And then they made me wear a helmet the whole time. <gasps> OK, staying on a hair trip. The good and the bad of having a goatee. The good is that people think I'm an adult, actually. <laughs> <laughs> the bad is you're a guy with a goatee. Oh my gosh, the bad is I'm a guy with a goatee. That's the bad. In a parking lot. I'd be concerned if you didn't get that one. Yeah, yeah. I had to think about that, though, for a second. I'm not going to lie. I was like... You are engaged to your Hamilton co-star, yeah. Jasmine Cephas Jones. Yes. What is the good and the bad of dating someone you work with? The good is that we're on the same schedule. All yes. the time. So we're sure. breakfast together, mm -hmm. lunch together, dinner together. So that's very nice. I the think. bad is you're on the same schedule. <laughs> the bad. You're having breakfast together, lunch together. What's up, 15 times? Yeah, gee. What? How, how, how many times did you see it? You didn't love it that much? <laughs> I'm, yeah, no, no, no. I love In the Heights. But I saw it once. <laughs> uh, but what was your plan earlier in life? It wasn't to necessarily be acting. No, I want to play baseball. Hmm. You know, I, I swore up and down I was about to be in the major leagues. 
uh, until I was on the field one day and I realized, yeah, this might not be the one. <laughs> right, until I wasn't, I got hurt, 16 years old. And uh, uh, I was, I'll never forget it. We were, I was pitching against, I think it was Zavarian High School. And uh, and I remember, remember how I felt. I threw that pitch and I was like, yeah, I think this is it. Mm -hmm. You knew right away? Right away. I was like, yeah, I think, I think, I think we're done here. I was like, <laughs> my arm felt like it was going to come off of my body. <laughs> It was crazy. I never forget it. And uh, I recovered. Like I came back and I played my. I played the next two years, but I was never the same, you know. But uh, my high school coach did remind me. He was like, "Yo, you batted like four hundred in your senior year, though, bro. You had the best batting average on the team." I was like, "Yeah, right. I had to do something right, son." You know what I'm saying? My arm was all messed up. You know, it, my mom kept hanging up the phone on the Navy. <laughs> she, she they they were trying to call you know because because I had expressed interest and they were trying to call like hey we like to speak to Anthony Ramos and she's like he don't live here <laughs> hanging up and uh, <laughs> recorded from someone else from another person right even the ones like like call me back you ain't call me in five days <laughs> and I've been trying to call your ass and you ain't hitting me back you better not be with no other like you know that kind of, <laughs> right like we. Love